Well, hi there. Welcome back to some more succulent. Oh, wait. Range safety officer. Shooting range certified, authorized. We must be at the range. Welcome back to the, where are we? Yemisi Maltese Arm Shooting Club is somewhere in the South Kakalaki. Today, we are going to do some more bullet racing. I know you're excited. We shall introduce you to the contenders. Ultimately, we want to eliminate things like drivers. So, we're gonna leave at the same time and try to eliminate as many variables as we can because we're both human, right? But how's that gonna happen? Heck, I don't know. Uh, please excuse any noise you hear in the background because, oh, did I mention we're at an authorized firing range? Yes, I did, okay. So anyway, um, we're gonna leave at the same time and then hopefully it's just, yeah, you know, bullet to bullet. Um, we'll do a quick introduction and we'll get this show on the road. Thank you for checking back with us. <laughs> allows to show you what we're doing. This is here for reference only, so you kind of get an idea of what we're doing with these little guys. For our introduction, we're gonna bring in OJT with a little bit of Juicy Juicy and a little bit of Specifications. What kind of scrub deal issues we got going on today, All right, sir? so we're doing 22 bullet racing today. Obviously 22 LR that everybody knows. These are 36 grain, going about 1,600 feet a second. You now we said? Give or take, yep. Yeah, we're gonna round off, you know, ammunition varies. Cool. And we're going with 22 mag, which these are about 30 grain, so it's a little lighter, but it'll work for a race. These Perfect. are going 2,200 feet a second. And again, the whole idea is to leave at the same time. Right, and see and if Leave we can... it to these guys down there, measured 50 yards. See if we can tell a difference. If we can get somebody without jumping first. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, that's me. I am completely guilty of red lighting. I got to get it out of my mind. We're not in Mexico. We're not in Mexico. We're not in Mexico. Okay. All right. So everybody knows the 22 LR we're going to use is Ethan's oh. Smith & Wesson MMP. Shall we? This is how Ava started out, but all black. Um, except this has a SIG Romeo 5 and uh, a few miles of goo on it good shape good to go it didn't come off it'll be all right and they absolutely love this thing they put I, I don't know i probably this little guy probably has two to 2500 rounds through it Oof. mileage i know it, it has been broken down and steamed by the local my lgs my local gun shop at any rate i'll quit babbling your turn sir anyway so the 22 mag we're going to use yes. is this it is a marlin model 25 22 mag now funny story about how it came into possession of this dad found this in a pawn shop and it had 150 bucks on it or something like that. <laughs> kept going, kept going in, asking the guy if he'd take $100 for it. So multiple trips. Oh yeah, it was probably half a dozen. The guy wouldn't come off of it. Finally, the guy broke down and said, fine, I'll let you have it for $100. Rang him up, you know, 107 and change. And dad was like, no, I'll give you a $100 bill for it. Figure out whatever you have to, to make it be $100. So then the guy stomped off and had to go figure out the math. Anyway, this cost $100 from a pawn shop. Fantastic. Here, let me get the point. And is this still a pawn shop? Or is this just from no. being in no. dad's collection? We've had it for a while. And actually, this has taken out a deer at 100 yards plus before for me. So it's a pretty good little tack driver. And that was, it happened to be like in the juggler, didn't it? Was that the one that was? Yeah, it was a neck shot. Well, it, the crosshairs were on his head and it dropped to his neck, but it's a 30 grain bullet at 100 yards, I'll take it. And, uh, and did it run anywhere? Did you have to follow a trail? No, nah, he hit the ground. Hit the ground. Yeah. How big was it? Was it 100 pounds? Yeah, he was over 100 pounds. It was, a, it was a spike. So, I mean, he was he was decent sized body for where we're at. For contrast, if it was a two-legged animal that took the same hit, what would it Oh, it would have put them down the same because, you know, every deer are tougher than people. 
Ah, okay, so for contrast, it still dropped the deer. Yes. A 22 caliber Magnum. Yeah. At approximately how many yards? But it was 110 steps, so I said 100 yards. That's cool, because, well, the other thing we might see down here is the difference in the 22 long rifle versus the 22 Magnum. I hope you can hear that from the wind. But if one swings harder than the other, then we have also shown a bigger foot poundage. We couldn't get accurate foot pounds this time around, uh, but that's okay. We have other stuff that we, oh man, never mind my hand, okay? I'm trying to block you from the wind. Um, so we're gonna get set up. I'm gonna put the camera down range. My fancy Apple slow motion, and we're gonna, we're gonna send them. 22 long rifle. 22 mag right there 22 long rifle 22 magnum good to go save this off You're on fire you on fire Beginning of three, not reaction time three. All right, one more. Because, yeah, that's all. Practice. Practice? This is live. Here, I'll scoot back. You're live. This is upload mode. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what? I, I have that chamber. I don't need the mag now. <laughs> okay. The arrows are about the same. Round two. On three, one, two. That was pretty close. I still think I got a little bit ahead of you. Yeah, you beat me. You want to do one more? Yeah. Found that I had one more in the bag. Oh. Cool. So all I have to do is that. Turn that down. This one's got some winding. On three, one. Two. I lagged that time, but shit. Four? Or you have to reload? No, I mean I can just pop one in there. Okay. I want to leave like we did on the 25. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Okay. On three. One. Two. I still left before you. But I could tell from here, your gong, boom, mine is like, oh, that was a mosquito. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to go stop that one down there. Okay. You guys sit tight. I'm going to screw myself up on trying to edit these things because this is the downrange camera, but I'm using it like it's live. So, whew, this is going to be tough. I think on the first one, the second one, I led. Yeah. I led. The fourth one, I followed. Mm. The third Let's, one was good. The third one? Yeah. Okay, we're going to review that real quick just to make sure before we wrap it up. Pew. Hi. Hey. Coming to check it out? Okay, so if we start with the MMP, no wonder why it's not moving much because all the shots hit right there. So I'm either pulling because I'm screaming or that was me trying to help the kids hit a Hot Wheels that one time. Hmm. Now, 44 mag. Oh, 44. 22. Half divided by two, 22 mag. And we have pretty doggone close. Boom, 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 boom. All four right there. Yeah, I pulled that, that one. That one, uh, okay. I was kind of bouncing around when you were counting down. What the? The 22 mag went through this plate? No. Oh, what did it? No, that was a 257 Weatherby. That was a 257 Weatherby. On was the 25 that? bullet race. On the 25 bullet race. Yeah. So, link in the description for the 25 caliber bullet race. And I'll probably put a card at the end of it. Go check it out for me. All right, so I predicted round three Round three was the most accurate leave 
that's the one that's gonna get, make it on here. I might put one, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not four, maybe no. not two. We're gonna go with the third run. We both had a good leave and you can, you could clearly see it. You guys, uh, we'll see that in just a second. That's what we're gonna have to cut out. All right, so we reviewed, wait. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you talk. Third round was the way to go. Uh, we left consistently and there was a clear wiener down there. And I believe I'm gonna post that right now. Okay, I didn't post anything, but I kind of like cut it, glued it in the middle. You got to see the slow-mo yourself, that's round three. 22 long rifle, 22 magnum, notable difference at only 50 yards. I'm pretty impressed. Thanks for hanging out with us. We sure appreciate it when you come to visit us. Check the links down at the bottom to find the other one. 25 caliber bullet racing OJT. Courtesy, I'm Brian. Take care.